This is as close, if not better, than the real thing. I'm Danny Lorio. I started boxing at 14 years old. I went to Beaver under the supervision of Joe Sanduro and Bob Basil, uh, with Brian Brennan, of course, one of my teammates. And uh, I went to the Ontario Championships, won uh, the Ontario, uh, won further of the tournament. And from there on, I went to the Canadian Championships, got a bronze medal there. And from there, traveled the world, I guess. Went around Europe, uh, traveled a lot of places, had lots of fun. Uh, my name is Brian Brennan. I'm a former boxer at the Ottawa Beaver Boxing Club. Had over 100 amateur fights, won the Ontario Championships, won the National Canadian Championships, um, got traveled the world. It was, it was great, it was a nice feeling. I mean, uh, I, I, I beat Lennox Lewis, who was a former heavyweight champion. He was in that tournament. Asif Dar, former Olympian. Uh, Henry Den Marcus was there. A whole bunch of you know, top Canadian fighters at the time. I went on to fight, fight internationally and you know, even actually fight for the World Championship. And it was nice to be kind of bored ahead of them guys. Well, after my boxing career, I went uh, about my dad's company. I went to work there right away, uh, doing stairs. Uh, at the Menu de Pilar Rio. And I've been working there for uh, 25 years now. And I bought the company uh, seven years ago. And I love doing that. Lots of pressure, lots of fun, lots of uh, everything, but that, that's what I do right now. Uh, after my boxing career, I went into the IT department, um, working at various high tech companies in Ottawa. Same type of discipline as boxing, you know, you gotta stay focused, stay committed. And that's sort of where I went from boxing to IT. I was Chris's former coach, and he was competing as an amateur boxer. When he won the Ontario Championship, I was his coach. So as soon as he opened the club, I started coming down about five years ago. So I've been here for three months now, and we're working hard. I'm here two nights a week. I'm having a great time, and Chris is pushing us a lot, and uh, I'm enjoying it very, very much. The WBK workout, the eight-week program, is just like a fight. And when you're fighting, you're working towards the fight. Chris pushes us here, it's like a fight. So you start slow the first week, you move up the second week, you move it up, you move it up, you take a down week, and then it kills you during the last two weeks. It's just like a fight. And then, whoops, you take a break and you come back the next week. K is as close to a real actual boxing training you're going to get. I mean, it's just like if you're training for a championship fight. You know, at the eight-week program, you start off the first week, work slowly working your way up. Second week, third week, you're slowly building that pyramid of conditioning, strength, technique. But the last week, it's as if you're fighting for the title, you're, you're pushing as hard as you can go. The last week is your fight. So when you're fighting, you're going crazy. So the last week is supposed to be, you're supposed to work hard, 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 like it was a fight. Chris challenges us. I've been, we have been boxing for 10 years. I've done everything. But during this program, he's challenging you. He's pushing you, do this, do that. Actually, all the athletes here are better than us in a lot of, a lot of ways. Yeah. Skipping backwards, forward, don't you think? Yeah, they, they can do it all. I mean. Uh... One thing is it's, it's constantly shocking you. You're never doing the same thing over and over, so your body's constantly being challenged. You're, you know, you're not doing the exact same routine over and over. So on any given day, you could be doing you know, 15, 20, 30 different exercises, and you don't know what's coming next. When I got here the first day and I see the program, even before I joined, I just came to see, I was surprised. And then I got into the program, and my God, this is good. And it keeps you healthy, your mind healthy, and your body healthy. I love it. Because the biggest problem with boxing, I think, is it was one of the last sports to actually kind of move into the modern age. It was based on the old, you know, yeah. tough man, uh, two, two guys in the ring beating each other up, strongest guy survives. Chris has broken it down to, you know what, he can slowly build your stamina, your endurance, your strength, and your conditioning in, in this eight-week program. So you don't have to worry about, you know, listen, I'm not in good shape when I start. Trust me, you'll be in great shape when you finish. Well, the adversary is yourself. Yeah, you're pushing yourself. Because you're yeah. cranking yourself up. Yeah. Okay, what am I going to do tonight? What, what am I going to work on tonight? I'm going to work on speed, power. And you're, you're working against yourself. You're pushing yourself all the time. And, uh, and it, it's, a, it's an hour, right? So before we straight three hours, we get more out of this one hour training than we did for three hours when we're competing. Because he's got to broken it down with such a strict, yeah. strict routines that, you know what, there's no going half speed. You push yourself from start to finish. So you're constantly going. You can get out of it what you put into it. You see everybody going hard beside you, it makes you want it that much more. The big a athlete is an athlete. Uh, the way Chris's program uh, is designed, I mean, you learn fast and you learn how to be a good athlete. Boxing, uh, I mean, not everybody is a competitive boxer, I understand that, but the people that train here get the most out of it. Yeah. Actually, you know, I would put them in against any, any of the guys I used to train with. Condition wise, they're, you know, just as good shape. Condition wise, they're in really good shape. One day I came into a walk in and I go, Chris, what level is this? Level one, week five. And they're hitting the bag, hitting the speed bag, skipping, going on. 
wow, these guys are good in a short period of time. Five weeks, he transformed these people. Yeah. Incredible. And I think boxing, again, a lot of it is in the actual box shop. You're on your own. You kind of have to figure it out on your own. With Chris, you know, he's got such a program that, you know, when you follow these steps, you can't help but be successful. Yeah, and you're going to see the results. Yeah. For me personally, yeah, it, uh, I mean, after hard day's work, you come here, you hit the bag, your mind's, you're forgetting all your troubles for this hour while you're here. You're just, you know, all you're focusing on is your technique and your conditioning. And by the time you're done your workout, you go home, you're ready for bed, no stress, you relax, you're good to go. Your body is healthier. By being healthier, you're more confident, you're more proud of yourself. So everything just falls into place a lot easier, a lot faster. But I'll keep doing it until, you know, you're too old to keep doing it. I'm going to keep it up until my buddy says stop. Yeah. Ontario Championships, uh, that's my first fight during those championships, I really got my nose broken. Yeah. It's big time. And I had three other fights. And I had three other fights after that, my nose totally sore and broken. Never got hit though. Never got hit, fought so well that I won the Ontario Championships. So I'm asking myself, I should get my nose broken more often, and maybe I win more fights. This is as close, if not better, than the real thing. 